refreshing. It does. And it very does. clean over here. <clears throat> uh, very clean. So, yeah. We're house sitting, and so I just borrowed their uh, microwave. So oh, that's you did? fine. It's yeah. like no big deal. It's not yeah, a big I, yeah, deal. Yeah, they always <laughs> go out of town and enjoy your trip. <laughs> that's fine. I always get to. Hey, uh, is, this is a, a favorite because every once in a while, kids will go in the grocery store, they'll see this, and it jogs their memory. So the technique here that teachers use, and it's a great technique for parents, is when we can attach a science experiment and turn it into an experience. The next time the kid sees whatever it might be, mm -hmm. uh, for you it's Mentos and Diet Coke, but for this yes. it's going to be ivory soap. Fair right. enough? Exactly. Different kinds of soap. Ivory soap, this was your grandmother's soap. For 130 yes. years ivory's been around. There's Dove, so just to kind of show you the comparison. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a, a legend with ivory soap. Go ahead and take the Dove and drop it into the water. Got it? Okay. See, not much. It sinks. sinks. Good. You put the uh, ivory there. It floats. Mm -hmm. You ponder that because I'm going to do something else. We're coming right back to this. Watch what I want you to do. You're going to take a brand new bar of ivory soap. It has to be fresh. So you fresh. can't have it sitting around the house for like three years or anything. And so then you go to your microwave, your friend's microwave. And uh, so this goes in here like this. And now I'm just going to start to cook it here for a couple minutes, all right? So here, let me turn it off. And here, let me turn it off. Oh, per perfect. It's going to cook inside. Fair enough? Now, it's not very exciting cooking inside, so while it's doing that, I'm gonna to explain to you what's going on here. Ivory was the soap that floats. And as legend would have it, some man who was working, working for Procter & Gamble, I guess at the time, many, many, many years ago, was whipping up soap and left for a break and came back, or was stirring it up and whipped air into the soap. So I ivory have. floats because there's air there in the soap. soap. It's not hollow, but if you break it open, you see that it's far more porous it's inside. Lighter. Yeah, so if we take a look at it like this, you can kind of see it's a little porous inside. I'll hold it nice and still so you can kind of see. So it's the soap that floats. Well, a microwave works on uh, the print of, um, of uh, heating up water molecules. So if there's any moisture at all, it makes those water molecules rub together and that's how it heats up your food. So what it's doing here is it's heating up any moisture that's in the soap. That's why it has to be fresh, but it's also uh, causing that air to expand. So if we take a look, um, oh, it's starting to is do it? it. It's starting there to get is. really, really good. It's Yeah, you see it inside? It's puffing up. Bigger so, than a peep. It is a big, little bit bigger than a big, oh, look at this. You can see it inside. Oh, oh, there is something bad going on inside. You know what? I'm going to give it more than enough time. Ready? Ding. Dinner's ready, kids. All right, so oh, this is so perfect. <gasps> Would you look at this? Yes. Isn't that fantastic? And anything that's worth doing is worth overdoing. Doing. That's right, Kim. So when you go to the party, you, now you are gonna, you're going to think it's like shaving cream, but pick it up. It's okay. <gasps> It's hard it's and brittle and, and crumbly. Yes, yeah. so it makes it perfect for the kids to go take a shower. So now you can get them to take a bath. You see, you just gonna break it off and you say go enjoy. But it's all the air that's inside that puffs up and you get these beautiful clouds that are kind of there. Isn't that amazing? Can you? They are cloud-like. Yep. If they have fun in the tub, they'll bathe. They, uh, well, well, thank you. That's a per perfect way to be able to do it. <laughs> hey, we put everything over at 9news.com. If you look for Spangler Science, you get to see our entire archive. And uh, we've got some great things for the summer. And some some ways to get the kids just excited. Again, still in the summertime about science. I don't want them to ever look at a bar of ivory soap the same way again. And don't think it's whipped cream. It's not whipped cream. <laughs> and I promise you, it smells great in here, doesn't it? It, it does. Smells lovely. Yes.